Um, wear some gloves. I put some cream around my hair, Vaseline, so it doesn't burn my face. And then I'm going to divide my hair into four parts. Divide hair into four parts. As you can see, my hair is very, very rough in this video. So it kind of, uh, uh, I was trying to uh, divide it. It was so uh, difficult to divide. And then I remembered the towel. I always use a towel. As you can see, one, two, three, and four, four parts, and then go ahead to uh, tie each part so they don't mix up. You can do a braid just to keep it down, like I'm just doing here. So this is the relaxer and I'm going to start applying from the back, start applying from the back just like uh, you see me doing. Apply from the back in, to each section obviously. Okay, and then you start dividing each section into tiny parts just like you see here and then you apply the hair relaxer to each uh, subsection if I may say <laughs> take another one and you apply just like you see me doing until you finish that particular section take another one then apply at this section I'm using my hands because if you use a comb, it might hurt you. So I'm using my hand to divide the hair. And then here, you start uh, to massage the hair massage very well so the hair relaxer gets into the hair and soften the hair you massage and keep massaging for about uh, one to two minutes massage each section as you can see the hair is softer the difference is clear So, when you're done massaging, you roll the hair and put it in a donut. You can see it's softer and it is firmer. Difference is clear from the other three parts. So you do the same uh, technique, do the same thing to the other three sections. You apply, massage, you apply, you divide the hair into small sections. 
you uh, massage and then roll into a tiny donut. So when you're done, you have something like this for little donuts. And then you take each section uh, using a big comb, uh, not a tiny comb, because it might uh, kind of pull your hair. So you first use a bigger comb to go through the hair. Try to detangle first, like I'm doing. You detangle gently before you uh, you come from the root of the hair. Detangle gently, just like I'm doing. So after I'm done combing, I started to use uh, uh, to reapply the relaxer to uh, to the section. A little bit more this time the first time we use so little just to soften the hair now we're going to use a little bit more uh, relaxer and now we need the little comb you uh, divide into section you will reapply and then you comb carefully so not to pull your hair So if you notice, I'm using the tail comb to divide my hair, not with my hands anymore because it's now uh, softer. Comb gently, reapply and let it sleep. So after I was done applying, I uh, also retouched that section round it and i remassaged my hair make sure to get the uh, the extra hair at the back of the hair those tiny little hairs So at this stage, do not apply uh, to the front hairlines, not yet. That has to wait until the end of the application, okay? If not, it might be uh, too strong for the uh, tiny front hairlines, I might burn them. So we'll leave that to the end of the application. So after I was done with the last section, I uh, used the big comb to unite the four sections. We're going to come again, but this time to reunite the four sections in uh, together to form one uh, big bun, one giant donut. <laughs> and then remember to uh, come from the root of the hair, from the root to detangle gently. At this point, I uh, apply to the edges, to my edges, to my hairlines, I apply to my hairlines. Because I told you that you apply that at the end. And then I also went ahead to uh, apply to my end, to the tip of my hair. Obviously not to weaken my end, and that's why I'm doing this at the end of the application. But it's also important to apply to the uh, to the tip of your hair so as to uh, soften it as well. And then make sure you get all those edges, all the edges of the uh, the tiny hairs at the back, at the front. Make sure you get all of them. Then you uh, include them in the hair so that you don't have crispy, tiny little hairs remaining at the back. Do you understand what I mean?
Finally put the hair into a bun. Here is the final application, the hair after the application. Well, I was really happy about it. <laughs> So then you wait for about 20 to 25 minutes, uh, depending on the nature of your hair. Because I've got a very coarse hair, so I decided to wait for about uh, 30 to 35 minutes. So know this, the more you wait, the better the effect. But if you cannot wait that long, you can go ahead and wash with a very good shampoo and thereafter uh, a very good conditioner. And after applying the hair conditioner, you should uh, comb your hair to detangle uh, and then wait for about 10 to uh, 5 to 10 minutes before finally rinsing it off 